Welcome to next episode of tutorial for 2D top down games in Unreal Engine 5. This time we will be talking about uh, objects and character overlap and texture colors. After this episode the game will look like this. The character will be able to overlap the apples and uh, also the colors in game will match uh, the colors in uh, images we downloaded. We will also configure various uh, project settings uh, to make our 2D game look better. So if we start our game now, we will see that the colors are quite light and uh, they do not match uh, the colors we have in the tile map. It's caused by Unreal Engine adding the default lights to the scene because in 3D uh, games we actually want some lights but not in the 2D games. You can test it out by switching the view mode from lit to unlit and immediately you will see that the colors are better. Our goal now will be to change various project settings to make uh, the lid mode look very similar to the unlit mode and also disable some settings which only make sense for the 3D games and uh, makes actually our game look worse. So let's open the project settings and search for the motion blur and we will disable that because we are using pixel art and therefore motion blur doesn't make any sense. Next search for the anti-aliasing and also set it to known to disable it. Another option to disable is auto exposure, so search for it and disable auto exposure and send the auto exposure bias to zero. Next option is the global illumination and we want to change it from lumen to none because uh, we don't have any lights in the game. Then there is the uh, reflection method and we also want to send it from lumen to none. Next option to change is the shadow map and we want to change it from virtual shadow map to shadow maps which should perform better. Then search for uh, ambient occlusion and uh, disable both options and again like we are disabling that because we don't have any lights in the game. We can now close the project settings and uh, open the post process volume so find it in the right menu, click on it and uh, we will do the next changes here. The first one will be the vignette intensity and we want to set it to zero. This option is used to darken the corners of the screen, which is not something we want. Then search for the expand gamut and also set it to zero. We are doing that because this option can also influence the colors of the textures. Last thing to change is the tone curve and we also want to uh, set it to zero to keep the original texture colors. If we run the game now, we can see that the colors really match the unlit mode and they also match the colors from the sprites we used. Next thing to fix in this episode is the overlap between the character and the apple. As you can see, the apple should be behind this character, but uh, it's not. To fix that, we need to open the project settings one more and uh, search for the translucent sort policy. This option tells the Unreal Engine how to sort the transparent overlapping objects. We want to change it from the sort by distance to sort along axis and uh, set the x axis to one because that's the axis we want to uh, use for the sorting. That way the objects with higher X coordinates will render after those with lower X coordinates and that's actually what we want. When the apple is uh, above the character, it's actually behind and it should be rendered after that. One important thing to note here is uh, that it only affects transparent objects, but uh, our objects are currently not transparent. To fix that, we need to change the material of our object. So let's open the top-down character as the first one. Choose the paper flipbook and in the materials section, change the material to translucent uh, unlit sprite material. This will tell the Unreal Engine to render it as an image with transparency. Now we want to make the same thing also for our base item. So go to the items and open the base item. And again, in the paper flipbook, change the uh, material to the same material, translucent, translucent uh, unlit sprite material. If we run the game, we can see that it almost works, but there is an issue with that uh, click animation uh, because uh, we can still see Apple there, you know, behind that click animation. To fix that, we need to also make the animation transparent. So let's open the cursor folder and the M cursor object and here we will change the blend mode from masked to translucent. But this also changes the cursor material here on the right side. Previously the texture sample alpha channel was connected to opacity mask but uh, right now it's grayed out because when we change the blend mode to translucent uh, we don't have opacity mask anymore. 
So we have to connect the alpha channel to opacity now. So let's do it and click the apply button or hit the control S to save the project. We can run the game now and uh, we can see that uh, the animation works correctly now and we don't see Apple through it anymore. So that's all for today and uh, in the next episode uh, we will learn how to create different types of objects and uh, different types of interactions. So for now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you in next episode.